everyone. Thanks so much for joining us today. I'm Faye Hutzel, VP of Product Marketing here at Nebius, and I have the pleasure of being joined by Dylan Patel. Dylan, good to see you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. So Dylan, this is effectively the debut of our cloud here at GTC, and we're honestly thrilled. It's been a remarkable keynote so far. I'm curious what some of your impressions are or what some of your thoughts are relative to some of the reveals earlier today. So I think that NVIDIA's uh, innovation pace is only accelerating, and that means that cloud companies need to have significant engineering resources to keep deploying what NVIDIA has to offer, right? And so I think that's why sort of Nebius can be quite well positioned because they have significant engineering resources uh, from the cloud world where they actually have designed their own racks, right? Whereas most clouds don't design their own racks. Um, and so I think there's, there's a, you know, there's a lot of innovation around the rack side, around the cooling side, and now around the networking side. And so all of these things are, uh, you know, incre the incredible pace of innovation that NVIDIA is bringing uh, and the ecosystems, you know, trying their hardest to be able to deploy it. Yeah, that's right. Like we are absolutely committed to sort of owning the, our own data centers and effectively evolving with sustainability goals, et cetera. And we've been very successful at that in Europe. And of course, bringing that here stateside. Um, but let's talk about the developer experience. So we're really committed to smooth DevX. And this is, we know, critical for those that are, you know, Gen AI applications, they're on the forefront of developing Gen AI, and I'm curious still in, how do you compare us to some of the competition? Where, where do we stand up next to them? Yeah, so Nebius has, comes from a, um, you know, sort of a, have, having done large scale web search, right? And, and all these other aspects, they've done, they do autonomous driving. So there's a lot of varied workloads versus having a GPU purpose built only cloud. And so Nebius has a lot of features that many clouds don't. Uh, likewise, though, that has, uh, you know, historically the usability of Nebius has been a little bit more difficult because of the, all the configuration options, but you guys sure. have been rapidly making it easier to um, also deploy the GPU resources that are required while still offering all that configurability, uh, striking the right balance, and I think that's something that a lot of clouds don't have. Yeah, absolutely. Customer centricity is huge for us. In fact, we have a demo right now at the booth that demonstrates how anyone can, via our cloud console, effectively provision a, an NVIDIA GPU cluster in under five minutes. So this commitment will only sort of continue for us. Now, I'm curious, Dylan, as an industry expert, you know, there are areas where we can improve just like anyone else. Where would you say we should focus our roadmap, our innovation, so that we actually bring the change that developers anticipate? Yeah, so I think there's a couple areas, right? Nebius, because they have a broader scope, wants to get into the inference side of the market. So there is a service already for Nebius. Um, it's, it's, quite, it's still behind, it's building, it's being built up quickly. So there's a lot of advancements to do there on throughput, on uh, latency, on um, SLAs that you can guarantee customers. The other area is, you know, yeah, you've brought the uh, configuration down, time down to five minutes, but I think, you know, there's, there's other clouds out there that are doing one-click clusters, right? Uh, you put in your credit card and then you, you can one-click. Um, and so this is the, these sort of things that uh, you know Nebius is driving down the path for. I know it's on your roadmap, so uh, I know it's coming soon. But you know there is there's significant efforts there. Um, and then and then sort of the last thing is uh, the the nice thing about Nebius is you can span from that you know one click, just a few GPU resources, all the way to we can make a purpose built solution just for you, right? And so I think that's you know continuing to be able to do that ladder, right? Purpose built solutions for large customers, all the way down with with all your engineering resources leverage behind that, all the way down to the ease of use, single you know click clusters. Yeah, absolutely. And then inference services. Yeah, yeah, yeah the inference service is important. It's a software layer that I think a lot of clouds don't have that we bring with Nebia Studio today. Um, so going back to our deep relationship here with NVIDIA, most cloud providers don't have sort of the reference platform status that we do. How do you think that's a difference maker for the end user on the platform? Yeah, so I think that the end user on the platform gets to take a lot of these savings and move forward, right? Mm -hmm. And there's savings on multiple areas, right? One is just the price of the cluster, right? Nebius has a lower natural cost than other cloud companies yes. because they don't buy from Dell or Supermicro, right? They go to ODMs, right? Original design manufacturers in Taiwan, design their own rack in, in conjunction with NVIDIA and then deploy that rack. So that helps you guys get lower costs and some of that gets passed on, but more importantly, uh, th because you guys are designing your own rack and you have all these resources, you can then test the rack more thoroughly. You can make sure that there's better, you know, the liquid cooling's working properly, all this. There's less downtime, right? And downtime is the same thing as paying for a cluster that you're not getting anything out of. And in effect, that's saving money, right? For sure. Yeah, I know. Absolutely. All really fair points there. 
One last question for you. We heard so much about AI innovation today. It was remarkable what Jensen had on display on stage. What industry do you think we should be watching most closely for the most transformative experience we can anticipate? Yeah, I think, I think today we see a lot of AI innovation in the software world, um, in, in agents for sort of like legal and insurance. But I think the most important area that's sort of the next leg of the stool is robotics, right? Absolutely. Um, and so Nebius has some innovations in the self-driving industry. And it'll be interesting to see if they can push these into robotics areas or start serving the compute needs of robotics vendors. Yeah, I'm personally very excited to see what we can actually achieve with physical AI here in the next five to 10 years. Yeah. Thank you so much, Dylan. And I'm Faye Hutzel with the Nebius team. Thanks so much for watching.